I'd just like to quote your own words back to you. This is the Middle East and not the Middle West, okay? In the Middle West, we can afford to have a democracy that has all of this. And we right. can afford to sit there and say, we have a democracy that can allow anybody in and deal with it because we're a nation right. of this size. In the Middle East, you have a different situation. It's the only democracy, but it is a nation that allows freedom of speech. And if you look at it in comparison to the Middle East, you have to say it's the only thing close to a Western democracy. In comparison with some European nations, I'd say it's very much a Western Sir, democracy. what you're saying is that the Middle East is not the Middle West. So you're saying that Western-style democracy is not for Israel. So don't start off by telling me Israel represents Western-style democracy. You have to be logical and intellectual and rational. The fact of the matter is that any non-Jew sitting here who hears you say that says, what do you mean it can be because it's a small country? And so it is not the only democracy in the uh, Middle East. Lebanon was as much a democracy until, <laughs> until the Arabs got to each other. And the fact is that it is not a Western star democracy. Israel's Declaration of Independence speaks of a Jewish state. The Constitution does not speak of a Christian state. It is not Western star democracy. That's what she says. Now, you're not happy with that, right? No. Well, I would say that. I understand that. that. But England is a Western-style democracy, and in England, they have a state religion, the Anglican, Anglican Church, and technically all of their laws are based on the idea of the king and queen. But in fact, it functions as a Western-style democracy. Great Britain does not limit immigration to Christians. Great Britain does not, sell, does not say that state land can only be bought by uh, Christians. So stop playing games here. Now, I am all for those laws. Not because they're racist laws. Of course not. But because... They ensure the survival of Israel as the Jewish state. And that's not Western democracy. But thank God we have chosen that path because if ever there is a choice between Western democracy, which means that the Arabs have a right to be the majority through peaceful means and vote Israel out of existence, or Zionism, which says never, I go for Zionism, which says never. Yeah. 